Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. It's been a little while since we've done one of these, but Zack, this new character, has just released and he honestly seems pretty incredible. Of course, we're going to be playing the non-tainted version to start with, but essentially this character is a very, very interesting gambling related character, which as any of you that watch me regularly know, is something that I love to do in Isaac. Um, so this is the description on the Steam page here. Zack is a compulsive gambler. Every room he clears grants him a poker chip and he can spend the stack of chips to roll his lucky pair of dice, the snake eyes. Rolling the dice can grant boons such, such as stats, uh, upgrades, pickups, perks to improve his future role. However, they can also condemn him with stats down, first to fight and even quirks to get in the way of him rolling. So, it's going to be pretty interesting, but it seems like a really well thought out character. A lot of people seem to be playing him recently, so we're just going to jump in and see what we can do. Of course, I am still using all the other mods that I normally use. Uh, also, the sprites for this guy are, are really cool. He seems to start with pretty decent base stats. Um, it seems to be a little bit lower speed and a, I think slightly lower damage, but I'm guessing that's because his uh, poker chips are going to let him roll. So... Okay, it can even spawn modded enemies. Good to know. Good to know. So, we consume our stack of chips, which I'm assuming means we probably want to... Um, I'm going to actually try and... There you go. Um, which means we probably want to um, try and stack up a good few chips. Now, I do wonder, a double room such as this, is this going to award us more than one chip? I'm really not sure, but it seems to be a very, very interesting idea, and... As well, just based on what I've seen of this character so far, the fact that he has unlocks as a tainted version as well, means that I'll probably end up adding this character to the regular series if I like him, which honestly so far, based on the description and what I played, he seems great. This is actually my very first time playing as the character. I haven't tested him out prior to this. I have watched a little bit of gameplay from um, Alexa and BD1P as they covered this character just a few days ago. I actually did want to get in on the hype as early as possible, but I tried to leave my... Um, my character reviews, my modded character showcases for the weekend. We got Whirling Leech here, which is actually really nice. It's going to give us an empty heart container. On hit, we're also going to be dropping some Leech buddies. And it's going to make Leech enemies uh, friendly, or at least uh, has a, have a chance to make them friendly, which is rather nice. I'm a little worried, yeah, I say, about getting hit here. Ooh, they are um, they are actually f friendly colored now. That's, that's really nice. That's a, an update to the mod by the looks of it. So we've now got two burger chips. Let, let's go to three poker chips and then see how that does. Um, I, I do wonder what is the max amount of stacks and if there's any other ways to gain stacks. Ooh, so far I'm taking quite a bit of damage. But we've got three so far, so let's pop it. We got ourselves a fire upgrade. Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure if the way this would have worked is like, would we have gotten a lesser um, fire upgrade if we'd have used only one chip? Or is it just the more chips you have, the higher chance to get better rewards? I'm not sure if it affects the um, strength of the reward or the tier of the reward, so to say. And that obviously goes for the negative as well. It does seem that bigger rooms don't award um, any additional poker chips, which is, for the most part, fine. Right, it's coming here. I do wonder if bosses themselves... Ooh, also, respritted Loki here, looking very nice. I do wonder if... Um, there will be... Oh, that was a telefrag. We might die here. I'll be honest. We might die, but I will try my best not to. But honestly, this is a very difficult boss and he can no longer be killed with his own bombs. So if it happens, it happens. God damn, these, these bombs are really, really telefragging right now. Uh, I'll, yeah, so like I said, I'll try my best, but we'll see. Okay, we did good. Um, and I think we did get additional poker chips there for our boss fight. So we'll pop this again. Ah, ah, okay, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. We'll go down to the other floor. We might end up dying here, but we shall see. We shall see. We're on very low HP. I, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not exactly sure where we want to sit with our, our rewards for, um, oh my god, look at our leeches going. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how we want to play it with our poker chips, to be honest. I'm not sure if it's better to save up more of them. Uh, we missed out on gravity shift there, unfortunately. Or if we should be, um trying to just pop it whenever possible. Also, I'm noticing the leeches are getting a pretty significant speed and aggression boost in the water here, which is a really interesting little change. Speed up there is rather nice. We did start with slightly lower speed, so speed ball plus a speed up is uh, pretty good. I'm going to pop three again. This time we got cursed. I don't actually know what that does. I don't know if that's going to mean that we... Uh... Oh my god, these leeches are insane. <laughs> 
Um, I'm going to go in here and try and buy some HP, actually. Uh, ooh, okay. Exchange the number of pennies shown on the table to gain a poker chip. After some uses, we'll run out. Interesting. Okay, so we've built up to four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then let's let's pop this bad boy. And we got a damage up. Okay, nice. This is really cool. I wasn't expecting that from the shops. I didn't know that there was a there was a change to the shops, but it makes sense now why I started with so much money. God, that these leeches are insane. These leeches are just eating. <laughs> the leeches. Oh my lord. Now, I do wonder if the rewards change at all based on the item pool you're currently in. Um, so let's open that up. We've got a bunch of these bad boys. Spirit of the Night is potentially pretty good here. We got half. And do you know what? I will take Spirit of the Night. It's a little risky. I'm also going to pop my Snake Eyes again. And unfortunately, this time we got to tear us down. But I'm imagining that's going to kind of balance itself out. Where there's going to be kind of a give and a take. Where we're going to be gaining stats and losing stats and gaining stats and losing stats. It's kind of like having, um, uh, having the data miner effect be a little more fleshed out. If, um, if data miner's sort of stats and stat downs were a little more coherent and interesting. Which is a really good really good idea, because like I said, I, I really like the idea of risk. Honestly, Whirling Leech on these floors is impressively overpowered. I love it. I'm guessing it's only on floors with water, though, so maybe getting something like the uh, Flush would be incredibly strong, because it seems to uh, vastly increase the power of our fellas here. Of course, we do have a bit lower health now, but I think Spectral plus Flight is really going to help us. Um, okay, so we're on four chips. Let's, let's get one more chip, and then we'll pop it again. I, I, I really don't know if there's an ideal amount of chips or a reason to, like, pop it at one or whatnot. They, they might well be. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, that didn't kill either of these guys. I was really hoping it would. It's certainly plausible for us to go to our cash room here as well. Pop that. So let's pop these again. We got um, just some enemies, I think, which isn't so bad. Now, another thing that I wonder as well is how many different effects does Snake Eyes have how many different things can it do? We definitely want to pop back into our shop and take advantage. Because for one, I want to check if the poker table, the chip table, is always available. Or if it's only there sometimes. Um, I reckon it's always there. Uh, ooh, we get compound fracture as well, which is an item I very much like. Very much indeed. We're on three poker chips so far, so let's pop in here. And okay, it is going to be here every time. We'll exchange for some poker chips and then once more for, for a few more. We'll pop it, and unfortunately, another tears down. But the gambler within me, I can't not. One one thing as well that I quite like about the idea behind this character is it's all kind of is is all very optional. Like it, you you don't have these risks forced upon you. It's oh that was a very bad placement of that bomb, although it hit. Um, yeah, it, it's it's all very optional. It's not forced upon you. You choose when you roll the dice. You choose when and where. So. You, you don't really have to... Okay, this could be good for getting some leeches here. You don't really have to take a huge risk um, in your stats, HP, enemy spawning, whatever, if you don't feel comfortable doing so. I'm going to actually use two bombs here to try and get some soul hearts. I think this could be kind of fruitful. Unfortunately not, but I think it was worth a shot nonetheless. Let's pop through here. So let's just check and see if we do actually get more from a... Ooh, I unfortunately got hit there. We do get more from it. No, we just got one, actually. I thought we got additionals, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, we got a, a nice little tears up there. I'm going to carry on down the alt path, just because I'm really liking these new champion bosses. I think they're really, really cool. We've been seeing a lot of them recently from the uh, Repentance Champion boss mod, and they're really, really well thought out, really cool sprites and everything, so I think it's, it's always worth going to check it out. That is slightly unfortunate. Unfortunately, our leeches have now been neutered back to their... Uh, most primal form. We don't get the uh, the uber powerful leeches anymore. That is a really cool feature though. Genuinely having whirling leech on a floor. Also having them look like the spiders and stuff I think is a really good idea. But yeah, having whirling leech be extremely powerful on the wet floors is a really, really cool little sort of easter egg or rework so to say. So let's pop it at three. Unfortunately this time we got some enemies again. So we've actually gotten reasonably unlucky here. I think this time, let's maybe just go for the highest amount of uh, chips that we can get. Let, let's just, like, play out the rest of the floor. 
and then pop it at the end of the floor. We did also have um, a thingy chest here, didn't we? Yeah. yeah, let's maybe pop it at the end of the floor. I wonder if there's any additional ways to gain chips other than the shop and the, um, the room clear way. I'm certain there will be. Ooh, wait, can this guy... I think that guy might be able to help me there. I unfortunately got hit again there. And again, wow. I'm honestly not too bothered about being hit because I'm getting uh, leeches, but this guy might be able to... Nah, let's, let's just use a bomb. It's going to take him a while. I had to check. Okay, so we're at three so far. Like I said, health is still leaving a lot to be desired, but I don't think it's all that bad. Go, my leech buddies. Go. And then pop that there. Okay, that's nice. I love this room. This is a room that I made for uh, Ipecac. We're one of the Ipecac enemies, and I think it works so well. Those enemies just... Oh. Ooh, nice. Molding clay could be really good for us here. I very much like molding clay. The Chad dice is pretty good, but it's not amazing. It would be nice to see the uh, the poker chips graphic moved up just a little bit, just so it doesn't cover the external item descriptions. But that might be something that you can do with the settings of the mod anyways, so I'm not going to uh, pass judgment on that right now. Let's have a little look, see what we're going here. Ooh, we got Blood Splosion. Nice. With Compound Fracture, that's going to be pretty good. That Book of Shadows would have also been really good. Okay, we are getting up there. I want to see if there's like a, a cap to the poker chips. Or if they're just going to keep sort of stacking indefinitely. I'm sure there will be some sort of stack. Unfortunately, I've been hit again. But we, this is the highest amount we've ever had, I think. Loving the blood explosions. Nice. Tried to get him with the bomb, but I ended up knocking it away. And, ooh, okay. So now, aha... Okay, so what I'm seeing here at least is the certain levels to these poker chips. In, in sort of, I think in the green tier, we're only going to get certain levels of rewards. In the orange tier, we're going to get higher tier rewards. Obviously, probably a higher chance of negative effects too, or at least the negative effects will be worse. And then I, I'd imagine there's maybe a red tier as well beyond this. So let's try and hit that tier and see if we can. Uh, get a Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. Calm yourself down. We're looking good so far. I think Flight is really helping us out. There you go. Red tier. We are into the red tier. We did get Hornfell, which isn't great. That was a very terrible bomb placement. I was, I was being very hurtful there, and it was not successful. Yeah, I think I'm good here. Yeah. Okay, this Hornfell with the damage we have right now isn't amazing for us, so let's just play it safe, see what's what. Hopefully, we can get like a, a crosshatch blood explosion going on with um, one of the other enemies that does a bit more damage to him. Either that, or we can just hurt him with some of his own explosions, which is a little difficult to do with Hornfell, but ooh, he ended up uh, taking a lot of damage there from our big chub. Which is rather nice. Ooh, okay. Don't destroy the uh, the bomb ones. You go away, sir. I really like this uh, this design for the room, though. I don't know if this is modded or vanilla. This is a really cool design for the room here. Yeah, I'm wondering, is it just going to be bigger damage ups or, and more enemies spawned? Or are we going to get some really different rewards? I wonder if you can gain items at all. My, my first guess would be yes. But I don't actually know for sure. Okay, nice. Ooh, that was... Uh, little risky. No, he escaped. It's okay. We got so high out of it. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so we are getting close. It seems like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the max cap on the amount of uh, the amount of chips that we can get. So let's try and get up to eight on our red tier, and then we'll pop it after that. We'll maybe see if there's a tier past red, but I very highly doubt it. That would be quite spicy. We definitely need a damage up though. Damage up would be really nice. Tears up would also be great, but damage up is, is really the primary concern that I have right now. Blood Splosion should hopefully help with these grouped enemies. Look, the good thing about Blood Splosion is it's a really good item, but it's not ridiculously overpowered because it has a very limited explosion range and creep range. It's not as if it's going to like chain reaction like Will of the Wisp, Brisker Rain style sort of thing. It's actually got some, uh, got some limitations to it. There you go, we're on three already. 
this is holding off quite a while, but I really, I really want to sort of push Zach to the limits here and and really go full gambler. Put all of our put all of our chips in. I don't know the, the terminology here. Oh, we have got jetpack for this room from Molding Clear. Um, put all our chips on the table, sort of thing. I don't, I don't, I don't know gambling terminology. I said it before in my series. I quite like gambling, and so I've never ever been to anywhere that would allow me to gamble with real money because I do not trust myself to not completely spend all of my money. <laughs> I just don't trust myself. I'll get addicted and I'll end up spending too much. I just know it. Okay, we've got some hollows in here. That one's going to split into more as well. Fortunately, missed the mushroom there. I'm really liking the fact that we have Spectral right now. I'd love to try and kill an enemy right above that rock there to try and blow it up, but I don't even know if Blood Explosion can destroy rocks, I'll be honest, but it'd be really nice if we could. Ah, it works. Hell yeah. Of course, that guy did split into new enemies. Yeah, good thing about Blood Explosion as well is it doesn't hurt you. I don't think it can. I don't think it's possible. Okay, so it looked like I didn't gain a poker chip there, so let's just look. We've got five poker chips here. Let's just take one last look after this room here. We've got Dead Eye for this room as well, which is rather nice. Yeah, we didn't gain any, so let's let's pop it. And we got a shot speed up. Okay, um. Maybe the amount of chips just increases the odds of getting something good, because. The reward there was wholeheartedly not worth it. <laughs> a shot speed up is not really what I'm looking for. I mean, honestly, a shot speed up's nice, but for the amount of rooms that we uh, that we waited, not the best. It might just increase the odds of you not getting negative effects more so than anything. But we're figuring out as we go along. But so far, I'm very intrigued, and I, I definitely think this is a character that I could add to my series, especially considering this guy is a. Uh, quite vanilla plus like he doesn't he's kind of like job there's there's nothing crazy going on like there's nothing super different like andromeda but he's got a pretty unique ability that has a different style of play i'm just gonna pop that now let's look for our item room Ooh, having flight here um means we can get into our curse room for cheap so i think we should do that fortunately not really the reward i was looking for Oh, thank God that cleared the room. Lovely. Right. So let's this time crack this open. Uh, let's see if we can get into the orange tier here. There you go. One more. One more. And now we'll pop our snake eyes again. And we got bankrupt. I think that just removed all of our money, which luckily we didn't actually have any. <laughs> or we had very little. Um, ooh, uh, because of the estrogen up, we're firing extra tears now because we've got two clotty boys. It's very, very nice. I didn't notice that for a second there, and it's uh, doing us a good job, although it's definitely introducing some, some significant lag, which is surprising because it's not that much tears on screen, really, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. I love compound fracture. But yeah, I'm just waiting to see if we can end up getting an item. Oh, I think we lost him. Secret rumor revealed. Nice. Some extra bombs. Good, good. Just looking for our item room now. Ooh, not a good room for us here. Come on, little fellas. Peaky, peaky. Peaky, peaky. Peaky, peaky. Come on. My leeches are desperately trying to get over here. But they just can't figure it out. Let's pop snake eyes again. I don't know, but th three seems like a really uh, golden <laughs> missing poster. Three seems like a really good number to gamble on. I've been getting reasonably decent effects at, um, at three poker chips. I'm not sure, like, how beneficial it is going higher than that. I'm sure there is a good benefit. I'm sure there's a very good reason to, but at the minute, three's kind of been my good number, my lucky number. We've gotten a lot of HP as well here, which I'm very grateful of. And we will most certainly take the other item here. Demon babies, whatever. Oh, it deleted my bomb. God damn it. At least it gave me one back. Cracked key. I will quickly go in here. Ah. 
I was hoping this would let me into the boss trap room, but I'm not sure if it will. Not sure if it will. Yes! Sneaky sneaky. Oh, it's PJs too, okay. I wonder, do I get a, a poker chip for every wave here or not? Oh, nice. We got a perfect hit there. Oh my god, the dodges. Did you see that? That was beautiful. Ow. We've got Singe here as well. That was a very good bomb thrower. I'm getting a lot of good bomb throwers here. It's pretty risky, I'll admit. Because I'm knocking all these things around and, yeah, holding it for way too long. But we got it, we got it. And we need to get another poker chip, so let's pop it again. We got a look down this time. That's really going to harsh us. I do wonder if luck affects the look of the uh, of the draw on our snake eyes here. I think so far we've been relatively unlucky with our effects. We've gotten two tiers down. We have had a tiers up and a damage up, so that that is that is pretty good. Hey, we got um, champion singe here. And, oh, he, oh, he's a gassy singe. He's a gassy singe. Whoa, interesting. Okay, I see what I see what this is about. He's a gassy boy. Ah. Oh. I like this. This is a this is a cool version of Singe. He's, he's a difficult one, I'll tell you that. Definitely having a hard time. Oh, and he throws out butt bombs too. Okay. I've got him trapped behind his own rocks. This is a really cool fight. This is why these, these champions are just pretty awesome. I think we managed to knock one of the balls into this pit here. I didn't know you could do, but I'm very happy to see that you can. Bit of HP is good for us. I'm just going to pop Snake Eyes in here. And, okay, we got we got some mini burnies. I was maybe seeing if I could get some deal with the devil related rewards. God damn it, that bomb was such a bad placement. That's the thing with, like, compound fracture or anything with split tiers. Your uh, your bomb placements get a bit, a bit messed up. He's not really brimstoned at all yet. What's going on with that? Yeah, it's a pretty good active for us, I'll admit. I'll pop it in here again just to check. Unfortunately, just some more enemies. So it seems like popping it on one... I'm even going to go Mausoleum, you know what? Um, It seems like just popping it on one is a pretty bad idea. Three is my, my sweet spot. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try to get into the orange tier a little more often. Pretty good for us there. Nice. That's very useful for us. I always forget how these guys work. You've got to wait for them to pop up despite them having an exposed brain. We've got some cultists here. We're good. Okay, so let's get up to five poker chips this time. Oh, that was a bomb rock. That was a good throw as well. Well done to you, my good sir. Well done to you. So we're on three. Oh, wait, there's another dude. There's another one of these dudes. Heck you. I was a bit quick on, on using uh, my Krampus' head there, I think. So we're doing a good job, though. I still think we desperately need some stats here. We're, we're still pretty low on stats for how late into the game we are. I was hoping um, our Snake Eyes would have given us, gived us, given us a little bit more to go on, but... I think we've been getting relatively unlucky, I'll be honest. Okay, so we're at four. Go five. We can actually get up to six here if we uh, bomb this dude. In fact, let's just bomb our donation machine and uh, play around with that. Oh, wait. The poker table has nothing left on it. Okay, I'll gra I guess I'm grabbing this now. <laughs> it's not what I intended to do, but there you go. Okay, this is a reasonably awful room. We do have Spectral Tears, though, so we don't have to worry too much. Um, and then let's pop this. Hey, there's the damage up we're looking for. Good, 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 good. Oh, there's a Herming. Ow. Definitely need some more HP if I can get my hands on it. Go over this way. Try and find our item room real quick. But yeah, I am I am really liking this. This is this has definitely got a lot of promise. Like I said, it's, it's very vanilla plus to me. He's got a lot of um 
uniqueness and a lot of difference. But at the same time, he doesn't feel completely... Oh, we got tears down. He doesn't feel completely out of the question. Oh, hello. I think we got spinning wheel for a moment in that room from Molding Clay. Nice. Up to two chips. Definitely gonna pass that kill switch there. Thank God they didn't spew out all of their death shots. That would have been horrible. Good. good. Oh, I, I've got to take Dingleberry. Dingleberry's very good. That was a, a very good head of Krampus there. And we will take Not. Not's pretty good. Right, let's stack a few more chips and then we'll go. Yeah, Not's going to be very helpful for us here. Pretty decent damage up, really. It's going to stun enemies as well, as you can see. Do good damage. Crack that. And then let's pop this. And we got some enemies. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Give me my Dingleberry back. I want my Dingleberry back. I do wonder what the tainted version of this character has in store. I've not read anything about the tainted version yet, so I don't really know what we're in for, but we will most certainly be trying the tainted version of this character um, next week. Next weekend, because he seems pretty interesting. I do have a few of the modded characters to try. By the way, as well, those of you that like this, uh, this modded character showcase series, please do let me know of characters that you really want me to showcase. I, I tend to like to showcase ones that are fleshed out and not just like jerks, but I'm not I'm not completely adverse to it. I am kind of open to some of them depending on if they're well made or not. I saw that for April's Fools, uh, JSG made a, a drift car mod, which seems really funny. Um, so I kind of want to try that out. Didn't see that brick there. Okay, on three. Oh, wait, did, did not manage to pull... What the hell? It managed to pull the stone chest over the gap. I didn't expect that. Okay, so you, you are going to steal a few of my familiars here. I've got to be ready for that. Oh, shit, this pushes away bombs. That was a terrible time to place a bomb. I always forget that scream attack pushes things away. Nice. And I think you're just about dead, aren't you? We've got a card as well. It's just a tower card, unfortunately. Oh, what? The hell? One second. Okay, so I'm back. I recleared the floor, and I thought, why not save up all my chips? Let's go. We still got to kill the boss. We still got to kill the boss. One second. Yeah, we still got to kill the boss, but we'll, we'll we'll give it a go. Let's let's pop this and see what we get. Oh, this time we got pickups. That's interesting. Okay, that's good. We needed health, so I'm, I'm not displeased about that. Unfortunately, this time we have to re-blow this up. I can't remember what we got. Rotten heart center heart. Okay, that's not amazing. Okay, so let's fight this fella again. Okay, well, that time she got quite literally annihilated. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but there you go. And we got a flat damage up, which we've been in desperate need of. So that's very, very nice to see. Let's continue on down, see what we can do. And yeah, I'm going to start building up my, my poker chips again. But yeah, I thought I had to replay the floor and get back to where we were. So I thought, why not just save all my chips and see what we get this time instead? we missed out on the damage up that we got. Um, yeah, I think it was a damage up that we got. Also, the look down that we got, apparently, too. So, Because I didn't use the chips at all. Okay, let's pop four. That's a speed down. Oof. Oof. But I'm sure you guys in the comments will be able to tell me a little more about how this character works. And tell me a little more about how it should be played. Because I'm sure I'm doing some things incorrectly or unoptimally. I'm sure a few people out there know a little more than I do. But it's my first time playing as this guy, and I kind of wanted to go in as blind as possible, just knowing the very basics. Uh, because he seems like a character that's a little more fun to do that with. It's kind of like with Andromeda, there might be a few key things out there that I'm, I'm really missing out on that I don't know about. But I think for the most part, I kind of understand, and I'm just getting a little unlucky. Go on, three chips. Let's, let's go a little higher. I want to gamble a little bit more. I think three's a little low. Okay, I don't think it's worth playing that. I'm going to pop that to clear that room out. It's good that, like, with, with this with this setup, it very much makes you want to um, 
but it doesn't destroy the beggar. It, it very much makes you want to explore more, which is always something that I advocate in uh, in modding. I think that there's a lot of flaws, especially stuff like the womb and stuff, that there's very, very little reason to ever explore the floor. So I think giving a reason to explore them is, is really, really nice. I was kind of speaking to the Andromeda developer recently about uh, different tweaks that could be made to Singularity to fix that issue with that character. Uh, Shoop the Whoop is pretty good, but we do have some money, so let's go for a reroll here and see what we can get. In fact, let's pop our poker chips in here too, and we got a damage up, hell yes. Snake Eyes is on our side. Mini Mush. Bomb Bag. Bozer. First kill um, will explode. Oh, that's just Contagion. Uh, I'll, I'll roll past Contagion. I'll roll past it. And we got Fever. I think Fever's pretty good. Let's take Fever. Um, oh, Lord. Ah. Ah. What has happened? What did I do? I regret everything. I regret everything. Um, maybe, maybe, uh, Fever was not a great idea. Uh, is that going to happen every time or is that just that room specific? Let's, okay, no, it's going to happen every time. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly, um, fix this by reverting my decision because this is, quite literally unplayable. Uh, one moment. Let's uh, let's just wait until this room has sorted itself out, which is hopefully going to be soon. There you go. Okay. Out, 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 out the door, out the door. Oh, we got to watch the skulls die as well now. Okay, cool. So get out here. Let's just remove... Um, also, I do not know what's going on with these er errors here. Uh, Repentance Plus is throwing some stuff out. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go remove... Fever and give Fettered Heart because that was that was what the other option was. So I feel like that's a that's a decent trade. We saw what the other item was. So now we have that other item. I think that's going to be quite a bit better than just unlimited amounts of lag. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Oh god, the the, the curve on that uh, on that herming then was a bit scary. We can get some more poker chips here. We've got champion belt there as well. Let's bomb our donation machine. We've actually unbombed it from the last area. Oh no, I accidentally bombed the table. That was not my intention. I will start actually bomb the donation machine anyways, because I very much would like to get champion belt if we can afford it. And with that, we can. Champion belt is going to be really nice for us because we are still a little bit low on damage. In fact, our stats as a whole haven't been amazing this run. We've actually got some really, really, really good items, but not many that increase our stats in any mean meaningful way. We've got Mother here. We'll pop this. Pop that a little early, I'll admit, but not so bad. I'm actually doing great damage here, so going to get a pretty quick kill. Um, we're just going to take that. We'll check out this. I will take Eye of Belial, and Compound Fracture with Eye of Belial is actually a genuinely incredible setup. Pop our Snake Eyes. We've got Jackpot, which just gives us a bunch of money. Nice. Nothing in here is actually super worthwhile, so we're just going to head on down to the room. But yeah, now, because the poker chips are going to stack up with every room cleared for our Snake Eyes, clearing out the womb is actually... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is Eye of Belial plus Compound Fracture is a genuinely amazing combo but yeah now it's actually got a lot more worth to us to clear out the full floor God, the amount of shot speed we have right now is messing things up slightly but it's fine it's fine yes yeah, so i'm gonna actually clear out as much of the floor as i can here um to try and get all the charges Ooh, fettered heart plus blood explosion is a synergy i hadn't thought about either that's a nice one you've been fettered Okay, I might not do a lot of backtracking if I can help it, but I I, I might. It depends. I want to try and get full poker chips again, because I really want to see what some of the max rewards are. Or just some of the other rewards in general. Like I said, I don't actually know how many potential rewards there are, but I imagine there's quite a few. 
I imagine there's quite a few. A few sloths here. Yeah, our shot speed is kind of killing this a little bit. We have ridiculously high shot speed. Be nice to uh, lower that down somehow, but I, do, I think without a sacred heart, that's not exactly going to be easy. I'll leave that for now. But yeah, it's, it's clearly improved our run quite a lot here. With Desirable Isle. Oh, there's a pin in here. Hello. It's a nice amount of money there. Wait, what? Okay. I was like, P pin's alive, but not. What the hell's going on here? Beautiful. Oh, God, that was a bad hit. There you go. That was a little unlucky for me there. Oh, again, really? I am not doing great so far. Hopefully we don't die, but we'll see. Okay, luckily we've, we've gone a lot of the wrong ways so far, so... We're uh, able to not have to backtrack all too much. Yeah, very much would like a little bit of HP here, though. But we've seen there is potential for Snake Eyes to give us some HP. Now, I do wonder if Snake Eyes ever gives you what you need. Like, I wonder if it gives you, gives you money rewards if you're low on money or gives you health rewards if you're low on health sort of thing. I don't know if it's weighted in any way. I really do not like these enemies at all. What the hell hit me then? What? I got hit like twice by some invisible rays of bullshit. Did I get hit by the spikes? What? I'm confused. I'm, I'm, it must have been something. I, I, like, obviously it was something, but it must have just been something I didn't see. Ooh, I do wonder if this guy has any additional luck or additional things to do with... Oh, oh okay. <laughs> additional interactions with any of the uh, machines. Just being a gambler. What I'll do is actually, I, one thing actually I should check uh, once we complete this room here is if there's um, different information about the character on here. Because they very easily could be. Um, encyclopedia. Characters. Normal. Modded. Andromeda. Job. Mastema. Okay, they're the, they're the only ones that are in here for now. Okay, that's cool. I just wanted to check. Okay, so we're up into the, the red level of our poker chips here, so doing pretty well. I'm going to pop it now, actually. And we got jackpot, okay. So that doesn't seem to be related to the money that we have, because we already have quite a lot of money. That was just a completely random payout. There you go, we pop that. We do indeed have Mum's heart here. Do not hit me, laser eye. Why is this eye not dying? Is my damage really that low? Leeches, go after her, please. Take her on. That was a very bad bomb placement there. Okay, thank you. The leeches did actually end up coming in clutch there. And we'll head up once again and gamble ever onwards. What I'll actually do is as well, after we complete this run, I'll take a little look at the Steam page and just see if there's anything I missed because, as I said, this character will likely be added to the regular series based on my experience here. Um, and so I want to see if there's if there's any interactions, any gameplay quirks, anything that I maybe missed out on that was uh, that would have been interesting or would uh, improve this character and how he's played as a whole. Okay, nice. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if we'll win this run. We're uh, obviously not in a great spot to do so right now. But I will certainly try my hardest. What the hell was that? Where's this ghost boy? Oh, dude, stop. <laughs> got a hanged man. Do you know what? Let's just quickly go back and grab this. We've got another heart in there if we need it as well. Soul of the Forgotten. Do you know what? I'll take Soul of the Forgotten because if we find like a... A thingy room, a sacrifice room, it could potentially be useful. Okay. Oh, God, that was a bad hit. But he did drop us a heart, so... Not too much complaints to be had. I'm very glad I have flight. <laughs> I will say that for sure. Okay. I'm kind of banking on Blood Splosion helping me out a lot here. And to be honest, that's not been a bad idea. It has helped us out a ton. Managed to get that as well. And we got another heart back this way. Good, good. Let's go grab that. 
Let's snake eyes again so we get, yes, a tears up. And that does seem to be a meatier tears up than we got at a lower level of, uh, of, di of chips used. So maybe I was correct in assuming that the amount of chips affects the strength rather than the type. And we will get a soul heart here as well. Very nice. Wow. Just save our run, why don't you? Holy hell. Okay. I went from not sure if I'll win this to we have guaranteed won this. That was uh, pretty incredible. Now, it is still going to be a pretty slow process because our damage still isn't amazing. But it's not terrible. I think our Belial is going to help us a lot. Just play it safe. Even though we've just basically gone from 2 health to max health. Doesn't mean we shouldn't try our hardest to not lose any additional HP. I've already lost two hearts to some... Three hearts to some hits that I didn't even see coming. I am... I'm getting hit a lot in, in like... Like, to, to shots that I'm not seeing at all. And I'm not really sure why that is. Because that's never normally a problem for me. I don't know. I don't, maybe my focus is just elsewhere because of the poker chips. I'm not sure. Might just be... Like, tears that I'm just clearly not seeing. If people want to point them out to me in timestamps and let me know where I actually got hit. Like, that time I saw it. But let me know where I got hit, then... I'd be I'd be welcome to see those, because <laughs> it'd be nice to actually see what happened after the fact. Monstrous Lung, by the looks of it. Yes, baby. Companion cube. Sailor's hat. Um, Pyromaniac. Awesome. And Monster Manuel. I, I don't know how good it's going to be having Monstro's Lung because it might be a little laggy. Oh, no. No, it's not. Okay, nice. It's just good. Oh, that is tickety-boo, that is. That is beautiful. That's Snake Eyes again. Double Down. I don't know what Double Down does. I'm not sure. I wonder if there's a list of all the effects somewhere as well. Again, probably. I'm liking our little sailor's hat that we've got on now as well. It's pretty funny. We'll play our poker chips again in a sec. God damn, with Eyeball Isle, this is quite incredible. Okay, we've got Stain in here as well. We've also got you. You're a nuisance. Damn it, I didn't, I didn't fully charge. Shit. Good, good. We got them all. Pop our snake eyes again. Ooh, hello. That's a nice one. In fact, we've got an Emperor card now. Also, we've got a Dormimic here. I see you, baby. Ooh, Soul of Eden. Hell yes, I will grab. Soul of Eden is what I'll carry with me now. Oh, we've got the boss. Do you know what? I really want to make use of Soul of Eden, so... I'm going to quickly go back. Oh, there's another Dominic here. Old chest with some extra HP. Yeah, I want to make use of my Soul of Eden and just see what we can get, so... Let's play out the floor just a little bit more. And we'll, uh, we'll save up our chips, chips throughout the rest of this floor as well. Why not? Put our chips on the table. This is actually probably a good time to quickly look up on the character... Uh, the character page, if there's anything we've missed, I think that's a, a decent time to do so. Let's take a little look, shall we? Uh, that is reflashed uh, blur, not Zack. Okay, so in the second bit, whether the snakes help or hurt, and depending on much chips he, he... Depending on how much chips Zack spends to roll them, spending more chips gives him a greater chance of a positive roll. But rolling with less chips lets him roll more often. If Lady Luck is on your side, taking more risk can be profitable, profitable indeed. Being a slave to chance is not without its downsides. Just can't Zach just can't seem to hold on to money for long. Shops will have severely reduced stock. Will also contain a poker table. Okay, so essentially, I don't think we've missed out on anything particularly. Uh, the only thing that I maybe missed out on is I probably should have been playing my chips as often as possible. I just used my Soul of Eden by accident. I meant to. Uh, I meant to play my Snake Eyes. Cursed. So yeah, it seems like. Playing them as often as possible is is potentially the better idea, but you're you're going to be risking a stats down more often than not. So let's let's finish out this run actually. Now that we know that, um, we got Royal Flush again as well. 
We've got a strength card we can take into the fight now. Okay, so I think I think I was right uh, saying um, getting to three chips is probably a good balance between the amount of chips that you have and the amount of rooms you have to do to get them and the chance for a better reward. But I imagine once you get into the red tier, you're, you're all but guaranteed to get a positive effect. But yeah, so far, a very, very good character. And hopefully, we'll be seeing him come to the main series relatively soon. Relatively soon, because I think this character is, is very, very good. Let's finish out this run. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Zack, a very cool gambling-based character. And in next week's character showcase, we'll check out Tainted Zack, which I'm sure will be a very interesting affair. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.